Okay, guys, I gotta be really fast with this one because this is a deathmatch civilization you guys are watching here. So, uh, difference between a deathmatch civilization and the ones that you were previously watching is deathmatch civ, uh, games, did I say civilizations, whatever, deathmatch games, uh, the players start with so much fucking resources. I'm talking 20,000 wood, 20,000 food, 10,000 gold, 5,000 stone. And the idea is you immediately take off and you start building, you start attacking, you start making units to attack. It's instant action. So here we go. So we've got Phalanx Legion here as the Greeks and his teammate. Where is his teammate? Where is his fucking teammate? His teammate, I think, is over here, Red, um, who is uh, Lowry, who is Ch Lowry, 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 Lowry. I'm gonna say Lowry. Hopefully, hopefully, I pronounced it right. Who is Red? Who's chosen? And over here, we have Blue, uh, Ashes to Phoenix, who is Roman, and his team, his ally, Hilly, Wisconsin, who is also chosen. So this is gonna be a major infantry ba battle here. Um, Chosen uh, obviously have uh, swordsmen with twice the amount of normal hit points, while Roman swordsmen attack 33% faster. So, um, let's see. Oh, but uh, Phalanx Legion is Greek, which means that his he's going to have fast centurions. In fact, there's one right there streaming across the map here. So I believe, yeah, this is this is the main match. We got red and orange versus blue and green. And blue and green, for some reason... Uh, are starting very close together, and I'm hearing action. I'm hearing something going on here. Oh, no. No, wait. Actually... Oh, my God. No, actually, green and blue are fighting, and... So it's green... I'm sorry, guys. I, I'll, I'll get these I'll get these teams right eventually. So it's Phalanx Legion and Hilly, Wisconsin versus Ashes to Phoenix and Lowry. And Lowry. I, you know, I should have remembered this. I was just in the chat room, and they said, pick your own teams, and I just, I, I totally fucking spaced out. So, we're gonna see action coming on from here. So, we're gonna have, basically, Centurions versus beefed-up legions here. In fact, if I'm looking at the stats here, we got 160 with 34 attack on the Centurions versus 240 and uh, 20 attack on... on on the on the legions here, so it's it's a I'd, I'd I'd say the edge is still given to the centurion, but I mean these these chosen legions are gonna pack a punch, and their towers, chosen towers are deadly. Just look at that range, seven plus five, that's thirteen and twelve range altogether versus only just ten for a normal tower. Meanwhile, over here we're gonna see how well Roman legions best against chosen legions. Uh, because again, they only at the Roman legions only attack faster. They the the hit points on the chosen legions are just going to be devastating here, and it's just an utter massacre. Plus, coupled with the chosen towers for support, yeah, blue is going to have a hard time cracking this green shell. Meanwhile, over here, uh, <laughs> orange is making slow but steady pro progress here. Uh, Greeks also get cheaper centurions, so. Not only are they a bit better than uh, uh, chosen uh, swordsmen, uh, they also cost. A, uh, I, I'm trying to remember. I think they're a little bit more expensive than swordsmen, but they're not as expensive as a, a regular uh, centurion unit would be if you were not the Greeks. And bringing in some Helopolises, very good, very nice anti-infantry weapon. They're gonna chew apart these legions here. Uh, and fucking, oh no, red needs to make some progress now because green is eating up blue. Blue is in trouble. He's got these, got these, his own Holopolis is here trying to chew up these, uh, legions, but green making a beeline in the back, trying to get into the base and, uh, do some eco damage, but I don't know if he's gonna do it. He's actually ran into red's own, own chosen towers. Uh, I'm not sure that's going to be effective, but he kind of knows where uh, Blue's base is, and he's in trouble right now. He really needs to get these units going. Looking at the mini-map here, you're looking at this stream, this steady stream of academy, uh, of, of academies with Siege Workshop. I mean, look at all the academies here. He is just beefing out Centurions, and he has masked 
uh, these Halopolises, and they are going to make short work of all the Chosen Swordsmen that are going to come out here. Very good play by both uh, Orange and Green here. Looks like Red and Blue are on the back foot. But, as I say that, Lowry, Red, has made a little barracks over here, a few barracks, is gonna try and hit uh, Orange from the flank, trying to get in his eco, trying to get in the back, and Orange, it's a little bit of a wall, that's it, just a little bit of a wall, just trying to, just trying to, uh, yeah, I guess he started and was like, fuck it, whatever, but uh, Red is not going in the right direction, he's actually going way away from the main, the main activity up here, meanwhile, Green, Getting right into the heat of it, right into the meat and potatoes of Blue. Blue desperately trying to hold this off. <laughs> he is in trouble. Blue, Blue is oh man, poor Blue. You know he's trying to mass his units. He just he needs to get more military buildings up. Look, if you look at the again going back to the mini map here. If you look at the far, the the bottom right. If you look the little smidge, that's Blue. And then everything around him in this area, that's green. Look at all these uh, military bit. Look at all these towers. Lots of towers. Actually, I missed this out. I, I, apparently, uh, Blue tried to hit Green's eco back here. It looks like he did some damage knocking out some buildings, but uh, it looks like it was repulsed. Meanwhile, Green streaming in the Chosen Legions. Again... Roman legions are good, but apparently chosen legions are still the best infantry swordsmen that you can possibly get. I mean, it is ridiculous how strong they are, and they're gonna make short work of. of this was this was Blue's main starting area. This is gone now, and now he's moving in, attacking. Uh, right now, the only gold that Blue's mining, red. Let's check out Red here. Red is trying to make headway into, into Orange's base, but he's got a he's a mass towers, just amassed a bunch of ballista towers. To protect him, he's, he's tried to make buildings, buildings everywhere, but he doesn't seem to be making much progress. Meanwhile, <laughs> Orange, massing siege units, just trying to kill as many chosen swordsmen as, as he can. He's even got catapults now. I mean, look at this, look at this, boom, 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 red. Red is, red is doing good, he's trying to hold his, his own against Orange, but... He needs to he needs to make some progress here because his ally blue is in trouble he is in massive trouble in fact he's even sent some village over villagers over to make towers to defend blue I mean blue is just he's cornered in this little area this 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 is gonna be gone this is over in fact I believe yeah blue ha blue is mining wait was he mining gold? he was mining gold somewhere here not anymore now in fact he's not doing I don't think he has any I don't think he has any villagers except for right here. I mean, green is just chewing up blue's base. Ashes to Phoenix is oh, and he's the host of this game too, if I'm not mistaken. He he is hanging on for dear life. Lowry is doing his best to try and break Orange, but Orange, Mr. Phalanx Legion, of course, Phalanx Legion. Playing as Greeks with Centurions is doing well here, holding off his own. He just needs to play defense while Green cleans up Blue, and I just saw the resign there for Blue. Blue is out. He's out for the count. So now it's a 2v1, and I don't know how long Lowry's going to hold on to this. I mean, he's chosen. Hilly is also chosen, though, and he has to deal with a Greek player that has just been giving him a run for his money. I mean, look at this. He's amassed enough siege that he's just gonna devour, demolish all these swords. But look at him go! Look at him go down fast. He's actually d did a nice job here. He's placing the catapults up front because they do splash damage. They can damage other units, including uh, allied units and their and his own units. Uh, with Galapolis in the background, just making short work. And I, I think honestly, he probably should have just made a bunch of Galapolises. I think they're the better anti-infantry weapon, and they don't have splash damage. But look, look, look at this! Sh making short work of all these infantry, and these infantry cost gold. But Red, Red, I don't know what what's the game plan, Red. He's oh, Red resigned. I think he kind of realized it was over. Two v one, yeah, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Uh, it was a good game. Good game. Fortunately, Blue. Uh, Tried his best, but again, if Romans versus Chosen, the Chosen player is 
probably going to win. It's just you can't you can't beat Chosen Swordsman. That's that's the thing. If if it was any other Civ, I think uh, Blue may have better chance. But yeah, oh, he, he, yeah, good game, guys. Good game. We'll we'll see you next time. Next match. See you then.